Halo Episode 5, the game element is back. Spoilers up ahead. Hey everyone, welcome back to Azar, Nick and John and our continuing journey into the Halo cinematic universe, I guess yeah. we should say. So we're kind, of, <laughs> we're kind of back into game universe elements and things like that. And Nick and I haven't talked about this much mm -hmm. uh, back and forth, how we enjoyed the episodes. So it's going to be interesting talking about it because we haven't gotten much action in a bit. So Nick, yeah. I... <laughs> what's what are you thinking what's going on you know it, you know it's we're pushing through <laughs> we're really yeah, pushing I, through the show at this point <laughs> it, it's funny every week i have to remind myself like man based on a game ip this is not bad at all like no, we're getting not. a lot more story than the halo universe as far as the games probably you know we would get in any other context so in that regard it impresses me every week but every week I keep coming back and, and going, it's, it's, I don't want to say it's, it's stretching out and just trying to, you know, kind of, you know, drag us along. But at the same time, it's like, how much can they stretch out of this? So, yeah, it I don't know. I mean, it really maybe, feels like they're stretching us out here with the storyline, right? But at the same time, again, we, we say this every week, but it's true. We've been spoiled by some very good shows mm -hmm. lately and Raised by Wolves season two and yeah. then Severance. Severance, just really good story. Range. completely different. I watched the first, yeah, first so, two episodes. Oh, did I'm you? really okay. enjoying it. And thank you so much for telling us to watch it. <laughs> yeah. So Severance was recommended to us. We watched that. We really liked it. And the same people that had recommended that to us have recommended Outer Range. So yes. that's probably something that. I'll be giving a view yeah. for the first episode coming John, up. John hasn't but, watched yet. But that's I, not, I was just on a plane today and I had, I had to watch something. <laughs> <laughs> but again, that's not fair to this Halo show because no. that's not what this show is going after. And what this show is setting out to do, I feel is good. It's just not maybe what Nick and I are really seeking out at this particular point in time. But it's not a bad show by any means. Like I'm sure it's still a very popular show and it's doing really well. I think it's just Nick and I are kind of wanting more crazy twists and turns now i i have been enjoying this a little bit because nick and i have been talking about for the last couple of weeks like so we haven't seen combat since you know master chief and kai i think her name is you know took out those mm -hmm. chips and what's going to happen when they don't have this kind of suppression of their emotions in combat and we've for the first time we saw like hey there was some kind of baggage that came along with that emotional freedom that they've been enjoying and yeah you know some some big payoffs with that now could you have seen that coming from a long ways away? Yeah, probably, but at least they are showing us that there's repercussions for that. And what are you going to say, Nick? Uh, I was going to say it, it was it was almost silly to me, though, the way they played it off. I, I just didn't yeah. feel like the, I don't know her name, the member on the silver team that got rid of the chip. Yeah, I just thought it wasn't I, fair to yeah. her that she had this panic attack and, and Chief didn't. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I thought it was kind of messed up. <laughs> well, one of the funniest—we haven't done a a reading comments for Halo yet, and we probably will. But one of the funniest comments we got for Halo so far is like, "So Master Chief takes out his chip, he gets a newfound appreciation for music and the arts. Mm. The girl takes out her chip, and she wants to dye her hair. He's like, yeah. huh? <laughs> I just thought it was really funny because, like, yeah, it's kind of stereotyping a little bit there, but." Yeah, I mean, they're depicted in a very different ways. And, you know, they're not beating around the bush as far as pointing out the, uh, you know, the that not being fair. I mean, they're definitely pointing that out. But at the same time, I and, get, you know, like he's Master Chief and he is supposed to yeah. be like the elite soldier and stuff. But I just feel like he had to come in to save the day to save her. It's just I don't know. I don't know. But come again, on, I mean, it, it also it also showed the negative aspects of him removing it too though i mean mm -hmm. his goal his his you know mission was to get the the artifact there and he failed in that mission in order to you know save a fellow you know spartan and those of us that are viewing things from like hey yeah no man or woman gets left behind cool yeah but then you know if that comes at the cost of losing the war and so many other people are going to die because of it it's like all right well you know that that wasn't a good thing master mm -hmm. chief so i like that they're not they're showing that like, yeah, there's bad things that came of this, but at the same time, um, yeah, the way they played it off is kind of cheesy a little bit, especially with how the two were treated differently on screen as far as the roles that were written for them. But, you know, I like in, in, in one of the flashbacks, they did show, you know, in particular that, yeah, Master Chief, uh, you know, John, when he was a child was a lot more, 
he was already kind of like that, like saving people like and kind of a little bit more, <laughs> yeah, a little bit more cool and collected even back then where he caught the <laughs> eye of, you know, Halsey, you know, early on, you know, yeah. as soon as she walked into that, that, you know, kind of settlement, whereas we don't know, uh, you know, the rest of the Spartans backgrounds, maybe mm. they were chosen for a reason, but at the same time, he was made the master chief for a reason because there was mm. more potential. So maybe even before that chip was put in there, he was able to better suppress his feelings or he was just, yeah, I don't know. Speaking about kind of rambling stuff, a little bit. I think mm -hmm. there, there might be a cloning thing going on. Like Chris said. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely seemed like that. So it's like and they, I wouldn't have he got, he caught that. They, they left someone there for that. Yeah. I hope we didn't spoil it for tons of people. No, I mean, I don't think so because Nick and I obviously don't know that well. It's just that, hey, yeah, we heard that this is maybe. Mm. I think it's never a spoiler because we don't know what they're taking from the games and what they're okay, taking, no. you know, making up. But at the same okay. time, maybe we won't go further into it just in case. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think you're right. I think they are maybe borrowing a little bit from the games if what Chris uh, <laughs> was mentioning is to be the case. And yeah. that's not all they're bar bar borrowing from the games. Let's talk about some of the action sequences, John. Were you a fan of yeah. the CCG and the action in this episode? Well, I wasn't a huge fan of the action in the first episode either. So I've just been surprised somewhat pleasantly that they haven't relied on action. Mm. But I was only always under the assumption that when they went back to the action, I wasn't going to be a huge fan of it. But then mm. again, it thought it was good i thought it was fine i mean they, they had that they had a mix of things i mean it's not going to be like saving private ryan or you know my favorite <laughs> you know apocalypse now or anything like that it's just this is not what that this predator. show is banking on <laughs> yeah it's not going to be like predator yeah it's not going to be like that but at the same time it's supposed to mimic some source material more and there's yeah. definitely moments that look like that um there was a few animation things and I'm like, I wonder if Nick's going to have problems with this or not. <laughs> you know, and so I was okay what were your thoughts? Different types of aliens though, this time mm -hmm. it was cool seeing a variety of different types. So, well, I guess it's only one yeah. other type. It was like the needle shooting one. The, 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 the needle shooting aliens was like the new one, right? Like they had their needle yeah. gun or something like that. And they're more reptilian like than turtle like, like we discussed in previous episodes. <laughs> I mean, they have the little teeny tiny guys. They have your, and you know, the your big more, boss. The, yeah, and then you had the big boss. So, I mean, it looks like we had, you know, a few, and then we had the big boss-looking guy as well. And you know what? That's kind of a fun way to hint at a larger battle that's going to come down the road. It's like you get a glimpse of him, Master Chief's mm -hmm. not able to really do anything with him, and then, all right, and then he's off. You know, yeah. instead of having a big initial battle with him, it's like, okay, here's a hint for something that's we're maybe going to get uh, happening down the road. So I thought it was fine, and especially because that's not what they're – that's not the – whole goal of the show is those scenes that mm -hmm. I, I thought it worked fine for what it needed to. And it was, it was a fun, uh, break up of pace from the last few episodes that haven't really had any action in there. And then were you a fan of the ending with her being a prisoner again <laughs> <laughs> or not prisoner, but like, oh, like being released? I don't know. I don't know what to think about I, this chick. <laughs> I just, I just really thought there was going to be some much more fascinating, fun things happening mm. with her in between when she departed last time, I thought she was going to be amongst people on different planets mm. intermingling for the first time in many years since, you know, being kind of picked up by the covenant. I thought we were going to see a story of her going on there. Mm. So I'm guessing then, she's you know, basically just there to steal the item. <laughs> infiltrate or do something. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you, the only interesting part of that is now we have master chief and her together, you know, these mm. two, Special well, for whatever reason whatever. chosen yeah special people but aside from that it's just she's kind of at least to me been a wasted a missed opportunity as far as the fun mm. character development that could have happened with her in these last couple episodes but you know maybe something's coming up that's going to be fun now as uh, did, is there anything else you wanted to talk about with her well, or what, what were your thoughts you know obviously we have to wait for it to play out but i'm feeling like it's harder to watch every episode <laughs> <laughs> I, i'm getting, finding that too it's really yeah, tough to continue is. this show and just like yeah, uh, yeah like i just i don't know if it's because i'm now i'm into a different type of sci-fi stuff like this seems like this would be fun but i don't know like it's starting to bug me a little bit <laughs> well and I, and I think what you said is very true 
based on the type of content that we're interested in right now, mm -hmm. this is not the best fit for us. But I think we knew that coming in. Kind of. And how cool that we're in this era where we just get to choose what type of content we want and yeah. we can find it if we want. You know, I mean, it's not like we have to wait for HBO a show Max. to come on. And it, yeah, I mean, we, we have all kinds of different options. Um, it's not a bad show, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of people it's are not. loving it's, the it's show. It's visually yeah. beautiful. Um, acting's not bad. Um, yeah. It has a better story, like I keep saying. It has a better story than it probably deserves to have based mm. on the source material. It's just not deep theories and stories like Nick and I have been enjoying. Yeah, lately. I guess you're right. I mean, we're trying, we're, it's kind of getting there with like the clone thing and some other stuff. I'm curious if this girl was a part of that group or why she's special. I don't know. Oh, I, it's so oh that's interesting. An interesting yeah. mm -hmm. That's an interesting thought because, yeah, I didn't think about that. Well, the Master Chief that we have, I'm assuming he is the original. Yes, because that's what Chris said. Like the yeah. they, they leave the clones and then they take the originals because of yeah. the, the the Witcher test they do. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is assuming they're going with that, and Nick and I obviously don't even have that whole idea, so we could be way off you guys on what this is. So, but yeah, where yeah. do you think it's going? What what, what do you think is going to happen? Let's let's do some predicting uh, here at least. Well, the one the one other storyline we haven't talked about yet is the girl and uh, what's his name T starts with an S on the other planet. You know. Uh, oh, that was a weird storyline this time, though. I'm, I'm finding her the most annoying character in the whole show right now. Mm. Um, her whole uh, hissy fit, trying to break out from the motorcycle. I'm like, I get it. She's upset. Please get past this. I, I don't like this right now. Though, huh? Well, the I mean, yelling and stuff. Is that is that what you were over? Yeah. Just, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I just I just don't really like their storyline in general right now. I like him as a character a lot. Yeah. Her, I've I've not really been huge on her story at all. Mm. Um, but uh, you didn't get a whole lot of development in their story this episode. But maybe because they're just leading up to the next part. I'm assuming yeah. she wants to go see these people that gave this weird advice to her father and that's why where she's wanting to go and that's where she's you know yeah, kind of i guess they're having a going hard, they're having a hard time with the side stories i feel like if they're like mm. do we follow the the two that are trying to start the revolution or do we follow the covenant girl that go with the aliens or do we call, follow the sil silver team or do we follow master chief and i think they're trying to like give everyone yeah. enough time but it just doesn't yeah. feel like anyone's really getting enough time except for master chief but the time we're spending with him it just feels like we're not making progress i feel like the stuff that happened in the last three episodes with him could have been done in one episode but well i mean the hard part too is are any one of those stories by themselves dynamic and good enough mm. to keep our attention that might be part of it too it's like That's hey true. do we have enough That's content true. to to focus just on this story mm -hmm. and is it good enough to i mean i'm not saying it is or isn't i'm just saying like they may be jumping around for a reason i mean mm. On the flip side, I think everybody wants the success that Game of Thrones had, and Game of Thrones jumped around different storylines, and they did it wonderfully. But again, I mean, that's that's a rarity <laughs> that that was so it was successful. Also HBO. And it, was, <laughs> it was HBO. I mean, this is Paramount's but, I mean, first first what show? Big show? No, maybe no. no I mean, they did start. They did some other stuff. I mean, considering, I think they're doing a good job. It's it's just. Everybody's going to chase after the, you. This happens in everything in movies and TV shows and games. Mm. There's a very successful thing. And if people think if we can replicate this, why would you not? If you can have these different branches of storylines and you can have them all merge in different cases, like why would you not? Like it makes perfect sense. Mm. And I don't know if that's what they intended to do looking at these other shows as, as uh, you know, kind of templates, but at least from my recollections of the third game I did play, and you know the, the 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 specs of other games I played, it's always Master Chief. Like that's your focus. You never really leave that. Um, so it's nice that we are getting other stories, but at the same time, like you said, we're kind of jumping around. And I have no interest in this one over here. I have a little bit interest over here. This one I actually have more interest in the Master Chief right now. But then we didn't get anything on this this episode, so we're just kind of jumping around. Uh, but that doesn't mean they're all not going to converge and become good stories. It's just mm. on a episode by episode basis, one tends to be pretty good and the other ones kind of be throwaway. But the girl 
and uh, I keep wanting to say Samus, but that's Metroid. The guy's name, I can't remember his name, <laughs> but their their story is just really losing me, at least uh, this last episode. The, the, the one before, you know, was we were getting some solid backstory on her father and stuff like that, but. All right, so a few comments from listeners and again, giving us good conversation topics and wanna read some of these. So we have Adrian Hall saying, I was really hoping that John would find the grave of his clone or some kind of memorial in the house to his clone. Mm. So Adrian, it sounds like you were jumping the gun just a little bit because this episode, we're actually starting to get some hints at this and it's gonna be interesting to see if we're gonna get more into this. Oh, uh, so it is seems he getting like his clone's the, memories then? I don't know if he's getting his clone's okay. memories, but he clearly remembered like, Hey, you replaced mm -hmm. me with something else. Yeah. And either they're going to get him back to base and wipe his memory. So he can't, you know, mm -hmm. go into this further or, you know, they're going to have to cross this bridge. But, um, Adrian, it's kind of cool that, uh, you're mentioning this because we're getting the first glimpse into the show, actually recognizing this potential story beat and path. Um, what do you think, Nick? Do you think this is something they're going to... Oh, yeah. I think it's going to be one of those big, big dice. twists. Uh, oh, cool. it's a clone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you think his... So they they basically, from what I understand, they made it sound like his parents died from that pathogen or whatever that made it down to the planet. Do you think his parents are off living somewhere and they've been living with this clone of John this whole time? Or oh, do you no, think they are dead? dead. <laughs> <laughs> probably dead <laughs> all right all right so it didn't end well but all right cool i i think i think uh, they're dead i mean but i mean it could be a fun twist there's another master chief out there somewhere well if the clone is alive yeah that's what i'm saying yeah no i i think uh, they all died but anyways next comment <laughs> yeah we, we never know yeah all right so we have fabulous 514 it's a good show, in my in my opinion. Too many people want it to be something it's not, instead of just enjoying what it is. Mm. And yeah, I think Nick and I keep going back and forth on this. On the one end, we're wanting it to be more, but at the same time, we recognize that we're yeah. expecting it to be more. So it, it, you're completely correct here that we're having a hard time just enjoying it for what it is. But at the same time, we're actually recognizing that it's actually better than it probably yeah. deserves to be based on the source material. Mm -hmm. I think that was, that other? was no that you covered it. You hit it perfectly. And I think we Very also cool. kind of went over that during the episode too. Yeah, yeah, I think so. All right, so some Spartan dude one one seven. So <laughs> you're clearly invested in this world, sir. All right, let's see. So the Halo series is a story and action story all the way through. Mm. The problem with the show is exactly that that they didn't look for guidance in the lore that's established and explained already, and decided to make their own thing, whatever this thing is. The show is not what it was supposed to be and it's a shell of it and it deserved its story to be told right i'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um i understand where you're coming from well like being a fan of something and we want it done a certain yes. way star wars <clears throat> um <laughs> and it's and it's hard because if they i mean lord of the rings as well as those movies turned out uh, people were really ticked off about that too even though they no, followed the books tom bombadil pre yeah, no time. You know, in the movies, they left out some sections, like some chapters, and then they gave lines to other people and things like that. I mean, they changed a lot, but the overall idea was completely there. Mm -hmm. And a lot of his fans were still upset with certain things. Whereas this, like some Spartan dude, when Seb is saying like, hey, they changed a lot of this. And, you know, it's 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 definitely, it has the, the, overall like chassis of a car but then they're replacing the guts and all the meat and bones of everything else mm. with this different thing that's not really faithful to it and you know for i'm not a hardcore halo fan but i can imagine how disappointing that could be especially if you've been waiting for this as many years as they've been trying to make this mm. you know mm -hmm. from a casual fan uh like myself I, I wouldn't even say a fan just from a casual player this is fine because I don't have all this, you know, deep backstory, you know, in the lore in the mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. um, and it's still kind of like Nick was saying, it's still kind of losing us over time, yeah. you know, over the episodes. Um, do you have any thoughts on that, Nick, as far as, do you think based on how this is going so far, do you think they should have gone with the existing lore more? Or do you think that would have been even worse? I think, no, they should never do what the fans want. <laughs> 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 I think they, they should listen to fans. I feel like, well, especially it, with something like this, because 
majority of your viewing is going to come from the fans, I feel like. And if you're not going to do something right for the fans, I don't know if it's going to be a good... I, it's kind of like the vibes I'm getting, I'm getting right now for the Lord, the new Lord of the Rings series. People are just really mm-hmm. hating on it just by what they've been seeing. And it's to the point where they're like blocking comments and videos and like, you know, oh, wow. the, you know like mm-hmm. there's just so much like with the fans not getting behind it. And I feel like you have with something like big like this, you have to please the fans with something like this, I feel like. But I, I, yeah. or if not, you, you have to it's like Star Wars, the whole the, the new yeah. the newest three they weren't really pleasing with the fan like what they did with luke people were pissed off and like no that's not luke and the, basically i think people are going this isn't master chief and or this isn't this you know what i mean where maybe maybe for the people that know the game see to me i don't even know who master chief is i just i just thought they all were master chiefs but <laughs> but then if you do too much of the fan service i mean because the, the newer star wars movies had a lot of fan service in there to where i was almost cringing too hard at that it's like god guys no, if you no, can't no. stand it, on your own without Mender doing berries. that yeah, yeah, but I mean, I, did, yeah, yeah, I, feel I like get what you're saying. More member berries, like, oh, remember Chewbacca? Oh, remember this? I don't yeah. think, yes, I don't yeah. think forcing member Billy on someone's doing the fans is the right service mm-hmm. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So the bigger comparison, or the the better comparison in my mind that I could make is, we have the Witcher books that I have not read. Mm-hmm. So a lot of them are shorter stories, and then you have the games, and then you have the newer series on Netflix. The people that read the books, don't seem to be happy with the games or mm-hmm. the series. The people that played the games, which is a large audience for the games, they don't tend to like the series. So mm-hmm. if you tr- just try to appease the book people with the games, I don't know if that would have worked well. Again, you know, a book does not translate into a game perfectly. That being said, a book does not translate or a game does not translate into a TV series mm-hmm. um, either. So it's, it's really hard. You know, I mean, you don't want to lose that audience because that's how it gained initial popularity from the get go, but you also want it to go far beyond the initial audience you had, because otherwise you're really limiting the reach of this property. And you, you can imagine that, okay, you know, we're making this for live action streaming service. We don't want to just get the game people. If that was the case, we just make another game, yeah. you know, like we're not a game company. So it's, I can imagine how difficult that would be. Um, so, but at the same time, you have to keep those people happy. Yep. And, you know, some Spartan dude wasn't saying that he's completely unhappy with it. He's just like, yeah, you know, it deserved a story, mm. story to be told right. So, yeah. All right. So, Last Fernandez one. T. They ruined it just like the Witcher. Oh, so he's talking about the Witcher. So, yeah, that's, a, <laughs> that's a perfect segue to that. So, Fernandez T is saying, they ruined it just like the Witcher, another video game movie that sucks. I can't stand the actors for some reason. After Raised by Wolves, my sci fi expectations are pretty high now. The show mm. feels outdated. I think they're trying so hard not to be Mandalorian, it affected their storytelling. Yeah, so you know what? F- Fernandez has a lot of good points here. And um, whether. You know, the Mandalorian was even around when they were writing this or filming this is is a whole other, you know, yeah. thing. But uh, one, video games that are made into shows are difficult. Um, but but what you're saying here, after Raised by Wolves, my sci-fi expectations are pretty high. Like, that's, that's a hard thing to get over. And that's, I think, a big problem that Nick and I have right now is mm. we're just our expectations are high right now because we've been spoiled by some very good entertainment very recently. And that's, that's hard to get off those expectations. Um, and, and because of that, Fernandez is saying this show, because of that feels outdated. Um, I think they're trying so hard not to be Mandalorian. It's affected their storytelling. Yeah. You know what? The first episode, I really thought they were going Mandalorian. All right. This guy that was a hardened killer, you know, finds this girl and has a change of heart and is taking care of her. Like it sounded like, you know, Mandalorian finding little baby Yoda and that's how it was going to go. So I'm glad they didn't just kind of go with that, you know, Mm -hmm. kind of overall um, formula, but at the same time, uh, you want to be baby baby Yoda at the same time, right? (laughs) No, I don't want a baby Yoda at the same time. I just, (laughs) I don't know if I'm just interested in her overall story. Mm -hmm. Like, it's still fascinating to me that she's the first character we ever saw in the whole show, you know, way before we got Master Chief mm-hmm. or anybody else. Whereas at the same time, I don't find her story that interesting at all so far. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe it's going to get way more interesting. Uh, do you find her to be like her story overall to be interesting or? I, I think if she already had backing, 
through chiefs or commanders or something like that, like she said she would, I think it would have been more interesting because she would have had more oh. more chess pieces to play uh-huh. with, like you know more. I don't know. I just feel like she has nothing to give to anyone right now. So, it's just well, I mean, character. maybe these these people she's going to see right now maybe are going to be these chess pieces. I mean, they convinced it's her true. father one way or the other. But uh, yeah, it's. I don't know. Like Fernandez brings up some good points, but I don't know hmm. if those are the reasons or not. But it's there's some of the same frustrations for sure. Yeah. But this is where it's fun for us because these comments <laughs> have brought up a lot of fun, interesting conversations. But we also want to continue that conversation, see what you guys think about these comments and our thoughts on them or other thoughts and comments you have as these episodes are continuing please let us know down below in the comments all right guys so thank you for continuing to join us on this journey don't know how many more episodes we have in the season here we could probably look up and see how many episodes are overall i would imagine it's not a super long season because we're getting one hour episodes mm. but it's been an interesting journey it's been interesting to see a game being adapted for the screen and seeing it actually doing well overall as a whole. So let us know down in the comments what you're thinking so far, where you think the story might be going. Check out azart.space for all the audio and video links, and we'll see you on the next Azart. Back in action.